Okay, so we've um, you know moved the, the comment for the class a little bit and reformatted it, reformatted the code, um, made some of the made the access to the um, methods explicit and the um, added the max access modifier to the class. I haven't really done anything with the fields yet because um, I think it's easier to look at the methods first and then you can kind of see what the fields are for. Um, but let me just add in what we know and, and we have a nice list over here of all the methods and um, all the fields that we can we can reference nicely here. So um, if we look first at this constructor here, CVDef Poly, so we know what constructors do. We can kind of co copy actually. If we go to CV Triangles, we can just kind of copy this and modify it. So I'll say copy and just paste this in. Uh, so this one, let's see, let's copy this. And we're going to say initialize a newly created CV uh, def poly, right? And we don't have any parameters, so we don't, our, our, you know, we don't, um, I don't think we even do any field initialization in here, do we? Not really, nope. Oh, yeah, this. XO right conditionally, but that's only when the mouse is pressed. So we so basically we do have a, we do add a mouse listener in here, but um, none of this um, like this this mouse pressed method is not called until um, a mouse is clicked. So. Um, we could just say um, initialize a newly created def poly uh, by adding an anonymous mouse listener. Okay, that's what it's doing. So, um, so that's that one. Then we have this. Well, let's, let's, let's march down this way. So we have. Float FX. So we have something similar in in um, CV triangles. We have the um, IX and the IY, right? So we have um, we convert. We use the IX. Remember the IX converts X from a, a logical coordinate to a device coordinate. So we can let's copy this one and then we can muck with it a little bit for the let's see edit copy uh, 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 uh. let's paste that in here so that's what that's what that guy does right and for the and the IY we had over here and again this is a uh, this exercise of of you know doing these comments is just to make sure that we're clear on, you know, in general what the what the methods are doing. So we know that this one, paste, is for converting um, float y. So float y is going to be a logical coordinate, and this is how we convert it into a device coordinate. And remember, we need to convert to device coordinates to do our drawing. So if we look in in the paint method down here, we can see. See, IX and IY are used whenever we do a, a draw rect or a draw line. Uh, okay, so that's to convert. But we also, for this one, unlike the triangles one, for this one we also um, want to convert the other way. We also need to convert um, device coordinates into logical coordinates. So, so now we see we're going to have to do that. Let's let's just um, copy this and uh, 
futz with it a little bit. So we can paste this in here. So we see someplace we're going to have to convert the other way. Where x coordinates from uh, a device coordinate. to a logical coordinate, right? And so why would we need to convert this way? Let's take a look and see where we use that. So here's converts y. Hmm. So why would we need to use that? Let's let's find. So we can do a search. If I hit Control F. This little uh, box pops up, and I can search for F X. And let's just see. Well, oh, here it is, right here. Look at that. Oh, look at this. When we click, when we do a mouse press, right, and we click on the mouse, what's returned to us is this mouse event object, this EVT. And the EVT contains, among other things, the device coordinates um, for uh, the mouse click. Okay. Um, and we can look this up. Let's see. And let me move this a little bit in the Java API. If we say, oops. We say Java API mouse event. There it is. And this looks like it's for Java 7. If we want the latest and greatest, we can stick an 8 in here. Okay, so a mouse event and a mouse event has something called get x we saw. So see there's a bunch of information that comes with um, mouse events. You could say get point. We have get x. Get x returns the horizontal x position of the event relative to the source component. It's an integer and it's um, in device coordinates. Okay? So since this is in device coordinates, we need to be able to convert it to logical coordinates um, to do our, our you know, manipulations in terms of logical coordinates that we need to do. Um, so that's what um, F, Fx and Fy are used for. Okay, so we did Fx, we did Fy, oh yeah, we did the constructor. Uh, Oh yeah, init graphics. So init graphics we've seen before basically just initializes the the data for the graphics, right? So it's remember uh, we've seen this before. It says max get max x and max y. So max x is d width minus one, max y is d height minus one, and then um, we get the pixel size by looking at R width over max x, R height over max y, and taking the, uh, the max of those two, and uh, center x, center y. So let's just put um, in, uh, as a general idea of what it does is uh, initializes uh, graphics data, let's just say, and we know that this gets called, if it's like every place else we've seen it, it gets called, yep, right at the beginning of the paint method. And remember, we do that. Um, called at the beginning of paint method. So that you know, whenever we resize the window or, or move, you know, do, do changes, 
or obscure, you know, hide and then show the window or whatever that that um, all these values get reestablished. Okay, so that was that one, and then we have the paint method itself, uh, which is inherited. And um, I think the best thing to do with that is what we did with paint to just stick in a, a, an inherit doc and an override comment. Um, because what we're doing is um, overriding uh, the more generic um, paint method uh, that every, every Java canvas um, has. Mm. And that looks like it. So it looks like we we have comments for all the um, methods. So then the next thing we want to do is um, take a look at our fields.